Yo, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm excited for this review. We are reviewing the New Yorkville EXM Mobile Tower. Yeah! Stay tuned. You guys know the deal. Now, if you like this type of content, DJ gear reviews, product reviews, DJ gig vlogs, DJ news, anything DJ related, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to like this video so I can keep making reviews for you guys, all right? So we're gonna get right into the review. So this system has a three channel mixer and it has four three inch mid-range drivers. So two at the bottom here, two at the top here, and what's special about this is that the high frequency driver, which is three inches as well, is right dab smack in the middle. So you can get really, really clear sound with this. So it's one of a kind. So the actual system has a 10 inch woofer that really pounds and uh, you can actually control it independently with a sub button on the back of the mixer section. So this system has four pieces to it, the sub, the two spacers and then it has the high mid-range drivers which connects to the top. Now what's cool about the system is that you can take out each spacer, right? And you can put on the high mid um, on top of the spacers. And you can have just one spacer with the high mids or you can have no spacer at all and just put it straight into the sub the system, right? So depending on where you're at, where your audience is at, if they're if you're above them, you can have different varying levels of volume, which is cool. Now these spacers are literally plastic, hollow, right? So it makes the system very, very light. Now the top grill is metal and all the guts are in here, so it's a little heavier. The back part is plastic, but it is a little more beefy, right, compared to the actual spacers. So this system weighs in at about 18 and a half kilograms or 40 and a half pounds. It towers at about 78 and a half inches, which is around six and a half feet roughly. Now this system is rated at 560 watts program. So that's 300 watts for the low end, 240 watts for the mid and then 20 watts for the highs. And then it's also rated at 126 decibels of SPL peak. Of course, this system also has Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth all your mobile devices, your tablets, your laptops, anything that has Bluetooth. Now, in Bluetooth mode, you can also pair this uh, system up with another EXM mobile tower with Bluetooth, and you can have it set up in stereo sound, so one is the left and one is the right, which is nice. Now, most importantly, this system is battery powered. So this is Yorkville's first battery powered column array system. I'm sure it's not gonna be their last. And they say it boasts of 10 hours of battery life at high, high volume. So that's pretty impressive. Now a plus with this system is that it comes with, when you buy it, it has a nice case around it to protect it. And it's quality too. It's no, not a cheap case. It has this flap in the front where you can keep all the spacers and of course the mid highs conveniently placed in. Um, it has a hole in the top so you can conveniently uh, grab the handle. Nice uh, padding in the front. And of course at the back, you can actually check out the, the battery life indicator and you can charge it while the cover is on. So that's really cool. I like this. So I know what you guys are thinking, how much is this system? Well, at the time of shooting this video, uh, the EXM Mobile Tower costs about 1600 Canadian. So that equates to around $1,180 US. Now this system is geared for more of the musicians, the live musicians, DJs, 
Uh, you can do a remote ceremony here and there. You can do a party where there's no power at all. It comes in very handy, especially the battery powered aspect. Now there are a lot of specs that I did not touch on at all. So right about now, I'm gonna place all the specs and stuff on the screen so you can pause this video at any moment in time. Right now, we're gonna take a look at the back, the actual system, the controls, and the inputs and stuff. So let's go, let's go, let's go! All right, guys, so here is the mixer section of the EXM mobile tower. So as you can see, there are three channels. Three channels on here. You can select each channel from here. One, two, and three, and you can um, um, control them all independently with their own inputs. There's input types here. There's a line level right here. You can have a mic level right here. Uh, you can also select the instrument level for each channel. Um, there's also modes here, voicing modes. There's the music for music playback, flat. If you just want no processing, no nothing, you just want a flat sound. And there's a voice mode just for a, for a singer or a, someone um, talking or something. And with each uh, channel, there's also reverb. Wow, amazing. So you can control reverb. This is a hall reverb on each channel and you can um, pick them all independently. So if you go here, Okay, here, put reverb on here, go back to the first one, it, it's, it saves and it stays, right? So that's awesome. It also has Bluetooth over here, of course. Uh, a lot of the new speakers do have Bluetooth. And of course, this master controls all the volume levels and everything. The sub, you can control the sub independently. Amazing. And this last mode here is the, there's a live mode. So for musical instruments, if you're, if there's live performers or whatever, you put it on that. If you want cl club mode, that's for more for music playback for DJs and stuff. So that's that. And I'm going to show you the inputs. Okay guys. So those were all the controls for the EXM mobile tower. And I'm going to show you all the inputs now. Okay, so here are the corresponding channels. There are three channels, of course. Um, each channel is combi jack, so it's XLR and quarter inch for each. But um, the third channel has an aux in, so you can plug in a source straight in with a 1 8 headphone jack. And then the third channel is also Bluetooth, so you can control uh, the actual volume independently through the third channel as well, right? Um, this is the main output. So if you want to daisy chain to one of the speaker, another cabinet or something, this is where you do it from. This is the main input now. And then of course, here is the battery life indicator, right? There's four um, LEDs here. So if it's um, all four of them, that means it's uh, charged from up to 75% and up higher. Now, when it gets to the bottom one here, that means it's low charge. It's it's down to less than 10% now and it'll be red. So that's almost like a warning that it's going to die soon. So just to be be um, wary about that. Now, it, there's also LEDs here. So it's, if it's fully charged, it will light this green. This will be green. And if it's still charging, this will be red. That means it's still charging. This is the power button on and off, of course. And then, of course, here there's the battery performance. Uh, switch so literally full power is when it's literally like you're plugged into a to an AC outlet right so you're using it as it should be as a regular speaker plugged into the wall right so that's that and then and the extended life is is when uh, you get you can get the most out of the battery from this uh, system right and it's recommended to actually use it in extended life if you're going to use the battery because you want it to last as long as it can possibly uh, go for so it's rated at 10 hours at full full maximum volume so you can get up to 10 hours right so um, that's awesome so full power or extended life right and now it reverts back to full power mode even if you're in an extended life if you have it plugged in so just keep that in mind that it will revert to full power mode when it is plugged in right um now here's a also a usb port which is very handy we can you can also uh charge a cell phone or a tablet to small devices right it's 5 volt to 500 milliamps so that's cool a nice feature uh, that uh, yorkville thought of 
Um, now at the bottom here, just the IEC plug so you can charge or keep it plugged in as a normal speaker. So that is the EXM mobile tower. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take you guys out with me uh, to my gigs this weekend. I'm gonna use these bad boys and see how they perform, how long the battery lasts, and if it can last the whole night or a whole gig. We'll just have to see, all right? Let's check them out. So once again, we're checking out these mobile EXM towers. We're gonna see how well it performs tonight in this big room there's going to be around 200 people and i'm literally testing them just on battery power but i have backup just in case i have the power cords ready to plug in just in case they die i'm going to be monitoring the battery levels the whole night and i'm going to let you know um how well it did and how much battery is left right now it's five o'clock 5 16 p.m we're gonna do I guess cocktail music, dinner music, up until I guess eight or nine, and then we're gonna be doing dancing all up until one o'clock. All right, guys, so we're almost done dinner. The volume has been pretty moderate, up and down, depending on what we're doing. But I just got a compliment on them. They said, they asked if they, if they were electrostatic speakers. I was like, no, they're not. And then they said, it sounds really good. I'm like, thank you. All right. 10.30 now in the dance party, guys. It's pumping right now. Let's see the battery. It is at 50%. Uh-oh. I don't know if it's going to make it through the night. 50%. I'm going to plug it in soon. I'm going to watch it. This one's still 75%. One. All right, guys. So this speaker has given out. I need to. I need to plug it in. So literally, twelve o'clock, midnight, with an hour left to go. It's it's still going, but it's like, it's red, so it's pretty much done. I'm gonna plug it in now. All right guys, so party done. It is one o'clock now. And uh, I turned off the other speaker, but it, I had to charge the other one because it was turning red. But this one, the farther one, is still has two bars. Still 50%. I don't know why that is. Hmm, weird, but one of them went the distance, the other one didn't know. Okay guys, so I'm going to be monitoring the speakers again to see if they can last the whole night. This time they are on eco mode. Alright guys, so we just finished the party. We actually made it to one. Wow. Okay, let's see. Let's check the speaker. It is two bars. But that's eco mode. Let's check it. Alright, so let's check the other side. Oh shoot. We are at... Three bars, wow. Three bars, nice. So what do you think about these uh, EXM mobile towers? Not bad, right? Actually pretty good. I was really impressed with the battery life on these. Now, in that one gig, I made the mistake of putting the closer one to me on full power mode, and then the one further was on extended battery life, so it actually lasted longer than the one closer to me so th that was my bad so uh, I, I recognize that after but it can definitely do a four to five hour full dance party right so if you're only doing a couple of hours this will definitely last and then at moderate volumes it will last longer honestly just in case i had those uh cables the charging cords ready to plug in if i had to charge it and i did for that one gig right but just for uh experimental purposes and to show you guys this is it yeah the volumes are incredible like extended battery life I, I can't even hear the difference between the the full power mode and the extended battery life honestly now there are a lot of things to love about the speaker let's go through the pros 
Now, I like the varying levels that you can change the, you can take out the spacers and put them on different levels for the heights. That's the first thing. The second thing, I love the sub. Full-fledged 10 inch sub that you can independently control at the back and no tripod so you don't have any tripping hazards, right? You don't have the, those awkward uh, tripod legs which stick out. The next thing, is reverb there's reverb on this you can control it now if you're just a performer and and singing with backing tracks and stuff this is ideal like for that reverb on every channel now that's the only effect but that's all you need honestly the next thing i love about this system it comes with that carrying bag that is so handy and just useful everything is just there right in that flap with that pouch where you can put all the spacers and then the mid highs in and this goes without saying the battery powered aspect where you can just literally set it up anywhere is just a plus all around right so that's that's a no-brainer now with all those pros I do have a few cons though now the first thing is that these spacers they're literally very, very flimsy. I'd say that this spacer is <laughs> literally a spacer. <laughs> it's nothing but a vessel for the sound to, to go up through to get to this mid-high, uh, which is the most important part, right? The spacer is just to adjust the height. I'm just scared that if there's a drunken person that leans on it or pulls on it, there's a drunken girl that wants to pole dance on it, this will literally snap. It, it, yeah, it's literally so light. Like, so light. Uh, I don't like it. So these are going to break really easily. Okay, the next thing that I don't like about this system is that there is play. There is literally play in this system. So look, check this out. There's play, like forward and back and side to side. And I don't like that. I think it's because it is plastic that there is play. Now, if they made it tighter or a, a nicer fit and it doesn't move around, it would be ideal, right? But because of this play, mm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. It's not solid for me. And lastly, you cannot replace the battery uh, on your own. You're gonna have to send it into Yorkville, which is here in Canada. And if you are there in the States or any other parts in the world, you know, uh, you're gonna have to take it to your distributor, wherever you bought it, and they'll take care of it, I guess. Now, those are my three cons, but if you can get past those, honestly, this system, you'll love it. It's so good. Like the output is incredible. Crystal clear highs and you know, the battery powered aspect, you can literally just put it down anywhere and then you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, it's making me think. <sighs> I actually want this system now. Yorkville, you keep doing this to me. <laughs> no, but I, I, honestly, I 100% recommend this system. I do. I do. So there you guys have it. That's the review of the EXM mobile tower. All right, I hope you guys like that. Now, if you have any questions about this system, if you want to get it, if you if you think I missed something, if you have it already, probably not because it's it just came out. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer anything you guys have, all right? So let me know, let's talk about it. And um, if you like this kind of content, please make sure to subscribe down below and like this video so I can keep making stuff for you guys. And that's pretty much it. I'm done, on to the next, all right guys? We'll see you in the next one. This is DJ Knight signing off.